you're watching this video right now, you probably have an open sacral center, which means that you would be a manifester, a reflector, or a projector as your human design type. When you have this sacral center open, it means that you have a different relationship with your life force energy and how you relate to doing in this modern world. Today's tapping will be reflective for those beings that have this sacral center open. Repeat after me, taking full responsibility for my well being. Even though I've been raised, told, and conditioned to be a doer, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though society seems to reward working hard, doing consistently, and pushing ourselves, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though my body constantly tells me I'm tired and it's time for a break, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Sometimes I don't even recognize how caught up I am. How caught up I am in being busy. How caught up I am in doing and being everything for everyone. I put myself last. Putting myself last means not listening to my body. Other times I feel exhausted, bone tired, but I have to keep going. I have to keep living in this way because this is just how it is. I have to keep working. I have to stick to my commitments. I have to be there for my kids and loved ones and have a social life. It's just too much. But I don't see a way to change. I don't see a way out of this life cycle. It just feels like a hamster wheel sometimes. And then other times I'm on a high. I'm on a high just doing my thing and in the flow. Before you know it though, my body's talking to me. I reject that I'm not a doer. When I found out about my human design type, I did feel some relief that I'm not a doer. But what does that mean that I'm not a doer? Does that mean I'm not supposed to do anything and life is just supposed to come to me? I know this is my logical mind trying to figure things out. I know that I am responsible for my life. But sometimes I get stuck in understanding this notion. And understanding the limitations of my form. Limitations are actually a beautiful thing. They're like personal boundaries. Telling me who I am and who I'm not. And I choose to leverage these things about myself. I choose to remember that it's okay to take breaks. 
I choose to remember that it's safe for me not to go to bed bone tired. I'm not trying to keep up anymore. Keeping up doesn't create the sort of success that feels correct in my body. When I actually empty out all of the sacral energy and buzz around me, I'm able to come home to myself. I'm able to remember how it feels to be me. But when I need a spruce, I go around other people. I hang out with my generator and manifesting generator friends, families, and loved ones. But I don't confuse my design with theirs. I don't confuse my bandwidth with theirs. It doesn't matter if I have two centers to find or seven centers to find. My design is purposeful, just like me. At certain times in my life, I have more access to life force energy. And other times, I know it's time for me to slow down. My rhythms are different than 70% of the world. I am an empowered and powerful being when I remember this. So here in this moment, I release the tension in my body. I settle into my presence. I create spaciousness within myself. I stop sucking my gut in. I relax my shoulders and I remember who I am on a soul level. And so today, I leave this tapping with one question. What does my body need? What is my life force energy trying to communicate to me? I'll give myself a few moments of silence for this truth to come forward. It may take the whole day for the answer to arrive or in my dreams or tomorrow, but I do life in my own way not the way that the world has told me. I liberate myself to live within my empowered limitations because it creates more ease and peace and abundance in my life. Abundance of freedom monetary abundance, spaciousness, spaciousness for my form to fill itself. I work in harmony with my body, my mind, and my spirit. And so it is, and so it shall be. Repeat as necessary. I hope you felt a shift within yourself and feel empowered to do what you need to do to support yourself in whatever way that is in this now moment.